just landed in the glorious Jackman, Maine. Now it's time to unveil our brand new fishing rig for the week. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. We are in the underappreciated smallmouth heaven on earth. Jackman, Maine. What's up guys, so we got into Jackman last night. A lot of these guys have been coming in for 20 years plus, literally. This is my seventh year in a row coming here, I think. It is a week full of fishing, chilling, and playing lots of cards. I'm gonna give you guys a look into the fishing that we do this week and a little bit of the cooking that I do for these guys. We've got a Blackstone griddle and a grill on the porch. I'll show you a little bit about what we eat this week and hopefully we catch tons of fish. Today I'm making a few breakfast sandwiches for these guys and then we're gonna go out fishing. So let's do it. This lake that we're fishing used to be a trout fishing lake and smallmouth are pretty hated by the locals now because they came in and did some damage to the trout populations but the main way we're catching these fish is definitely underutilized. People do it but they don't realize how much of the year it's actually effective. So the main way that we're catching these fish is on paddle tail swim baits rigged on a quarter ounce jig head. Yes that's pretty light but again this lake is so shallow three to six feet deep is most of the stuff that we're fishing. A lot of it's grass too so we want to keep the paddle tail swim bait above the grass but still have the ability to slow down let it fall to the bottom if we want. The next thing that we're doing is throwing a tube. Pretty much when you find rocky areas in this lake, if you throw a tube or a little Ned rig, you'll start hooking up as well. You'll notice I'm reeling this bait pretty fast because I don't want this swim bait to get into the grass. I want it to go right above it. We don't want to fish deep here because this lake is pretty shallow. baits like spinner baits and chatter baits would work in this lake too but for some reason the fish here just prefer something smaller and subtler and they don't really like those obnoxious bladed and loud baits I don't know why I've talked about swim baits in a few other videos and I do like the Kitek 3.8 inch swim bait but for this trip since there's a lot of guys throwing these I stocked up on the Strike King Rage swimmers at Walmart because they're cheap and I really like them they have a nice wobble to them Honestly, kind of looks like a Kitek. I don't see the, a major difference. And for the price, I think it's a pretty good deal. Pretty good little paddle tail swim bait. Mollies. Oh, that's a big one. Good. 
Mine's small though. Jesus. So pretty good first day so far. The fish are definitely biting. We're gonna head in, play some yard games, get some lunch, and then uh, head back out for the evening bite. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're about to head back out for the evening bite. I'm gonna actually start with a fluke when we go back out. The fluke works great here, especially when there's no wind, and right now it's glass calm. So I'm gonna start with that and see how it goes. First cast of the fluke ski. Not special, but. Ooh. You saw it? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Bigger one, <laughs> I think. Twenty dollars, it goes down right here. Oh my god! He missed it, but he was big. <laughs> Smallies are like kamikaze pilots. Oh, that's a big one. That's the biggest one today. Nice. You were simply just testing his aerodynamics. Yeah, he is. <laughs> just baby that. Uh, oh. oh my! I got one too. Wait, I know, I know. <laughs> he got it, he got oh nice, good eye, good eye. Work it faster. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Nice! <laughs> Dude, he absolutely clobbered that. <laughs> he wants it, dude. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> he got it, he got it. Oh! <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're going to hit a spot that I can't normally hit with my boat, but we can get there with this John boat. we got to push the boat through like six inches of water in this mucky, marshy area. But on the other side of this marsh is a river where it's deep, and last year we did pretty good here, throwing tubes, the same swim baits and stuff like that, but first, we got to get the boat there, so let's go. Mush, mush. Gotta get to the promised land. I say we, can we get through? Can we around this? Follow the coastline around, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. Hold on, boy. Jesus. Three casts in a row. Okay. 
Yeah. That one's right next to the boat. <laughs> There's that buddy, I'm right over you. Oh! I gotta make sure that Ed doesn't have the most fish catches in this video. <laughs> Jackman medium. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we didn't do as good as last year in the river, so we're gonna head in, get some lunch, and play some extreme croquet. Yes, you heard me right. And then we're gonna head back out for the evening bite. Schedule. Right on now schedule. Oh. Dubs. This one's, dude, this one's hard gold right here. Yeah. We're gonna hit these ro rocks. Oh, this one's big. That's how we like them hooked. The battery's on its last couple starts. <laughs> he missed it. He didn't even bite it. And I'm gonna stop. He got it there. They've, they've evolved. <laughs> Back at the cabin now, let's make some dinner. You got bait on there? Or what's up? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> ah, he's back. <laughs> we got a Jackman medium.
quality. Yeah, he's good. Ready yet? He might have something. Oh. Up as well. Jack. Yeah, this is a good spot. These are all bigger as well. There it is. Top water too. He's off. That's cool. Oh my goodness gracious. As soon as it hit. Oh, he pulled himself. That was right when it landed. Nice. Mine's a medium. Oh. They're right up against the bank. I know, treble hooks are no fun. I love you guys. Oh! When people think of premier smallmouth fishing, they think of New York. I think of New York too. But honestly, you gotta give Maine some credit. So, thank you Jackman, thanks to my friend for hosting us all, and we'll see you next year. Thanks for watching guys.